Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and today I'm back with some more Plunder Pirates gameplay. Today is episode 4, and today what I have for you is we're going to be doing a few upgrades around the base, and also we're going to be doing a bit of raiding. Unfortunately, guys, we're not going to be doing that much upgrading on pretty much our town hall for the next few episodes. I know, like, what I did is I pretty much could upgrade my town hall, uh, sorry, my pirate hall every pretty much every other episode but unfortunately I really can't do that now guys because of course how in a way how much troops I have sorry how much money I have and it just gets of course a little bit harder as you go on and everything like that so yeah so today what like what I said before we'll do some upgrading so uh, what I want to do guys is I want to pretty much upgrade our storage wherever here so let's go ahead and get those upgraded they'll take about 15 minutes uh, each we need to get those up so we can have some more pretty much um, in a way storage so we can upgrade some pretty much upgrade like our gold storage and stuff like that and just upgrade a few other things to make them just a little bit better so that we can have a better defense because I've been losing a few raids from some people guys that have like really really overpowered troops that can literally like wipe out my base which is getting really annoying especially how like just like really really OP pretty much um players and stuff like that and like that a pirate hall I didn't even know their pirate hall is like probably like level maybe like six or something I really don't know but they have really really high pirate hall levels also guys we have a motor from pretty much our last uh in a way gemming well not gemming more like building structures and stuff like that and I thought of in a way finishing up this episode but also uh doing a bit of rating um uh, pretty much because I thought that would be really, really important. Um, I should have said that actually at the beginning, but whatever, it's alright. So, let's go ahead and start, uh, editing our base up a little bit, guys. We're gonna make this so that we can pretty much have our motor in the middle to make, so, what we're gonna do, guys, is move all our structures, about one down on this side right over here. If you guys, I will be making, like, a real base design for this later, but not, like, right now. I'll probably make it pretty soon, but not right now. Um... So we have a cannon right over here. Uh, we have some bombs right over here. So let's go ahead and we're going to move them a little bit over, guys. As you guys can see, we have a pretty much a little bit of a setter right here. So we're going to change this up a little bit by pretty much moving our structures over like this. And then what we'll do is get our bombs that are right. we got one bomb there. And then uh, where's our other bomb? Uh, go ahead and turn angles to try to find it. Uh, why I cannot find it. That is really weird. Like, the bomb literally disappeared. I'm probably making a really big mistake now. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll probably find it relatively soon. Let me just... Oh, right over here. There it is. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get back to normal cam camera angle. It's just really weird, this camera angle. Uh, let's go ahead and click this really quickly. And then... Oh, it doesn't do anything, unfortunately. It doesn't change the camera angle. Sorry for the bad camera angles, guys. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is pretty much put it right over here so it's a little bit of protection to both of the pretty much weapons. And then also, guys, we have a pretty much a gun tower that is now pretty much useless. So we're going to be changing up this base by pretty much moving a few things around and stuff like that. Um, and what I want to do, guys, is I want to pretty much for now I'm going to put this right over here. Or how about we do this? We'll move this up right here. We'll move that up right there. And then we'll put this in here for now. Um, that should be pretty good. And then, yeah, that could just go here to be a small protection. And then the base, other than that, is looking really good. So let's go ahead and put our hammock right over there just to occupy some land. Okay, so yeah, we got the base is looking pretty good. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is first of all, we're going to do the upgrades, like I said. So we have some walls that I want to work on. I really, I don't know if I want to do, like, be like... I don't know what I want to do with the walls for now. I'm thinking what I want to do, guys, is make a layer somewhere. Let me just cancel that for a second. Making, like, a layer right over here. So what I want to do is actually move all my structures over by one. We got this pretty much thing that we have to take down. Oh, we have no builders free, unfortunately. So for now, I'm going to move that over by one. Actually, we, I don't even think we need to move this side over. We just need to move these two. So, let's go ahead and do that really quickly. You want to make sure this whole base is protected so that gets moved over. Then this, and then that, and then that, and that. So, for the walls, guys, let's go ahead and buy them really quickly. We'll do uh, pretty much a protection 
I'm thinking it's not going to be, oh, we don't have, I almost forgot, we don't even have any builders to do this building, so let's go ahead and complete one really quickly, and then we'll actually start building these walls over here. So the walls are, I don't know how expensive they are, I think they're like 100, or they're, I think they're 400, which is a little bit expensive, but it's still alright, we got to go ahead and move this structure over here one, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh... So, I don't want to upgrade my walls, I definitely want to build more, so let's go back into our defenses. We can only have 25 walls, so don't want to use all of them, I want to be careful with my walls and everything like that, so... Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and build a few walls, yeah, there we go, so now we're officially out of walls right over here, guys, so what I'm going to do is move that back by one, that back by one, and then I cannot move that back by one, so let's go ahead and just push that back right here. And then we should, do we have enough walls to pretty much build a little, um, because that can go in here, but then it wouldn't cover the whole entire thing. So, I'm thinking what we'll do with these walls, guys, is we will do, like, a little bit of, uh, pretty much a back thing right over here, so that we can lay that right down there. And then we have our cannon, which we can put, like, right over here, so we're gonna have to move that out right over there, actually. Uh, so this will pretty much be the distraction for... In a way, somebody for to attack us and everything like that. Um, let's go ahead and collect all our loot over here really quickly. Uh, and then we have the problem is now we have this really weirdly really weird, uh, pretty much front you could say to this design. Um, like right over here, how there's some walls. So what we're gonna do, guys, is move this wall right over here. This pretty much gold storage right over in the middle to make it look a little bit better. It's also gonna be a little bit better protected now. Um, just because how it is, and then now what we have is pretty much this motor, which is now going to be pretty much protected, because now the troops are relatively going to go on the sides now, and pretty much just get wrecked by all these defenses right over here, and they do aim for a wall, hopefully they aim for these walls right over here, guys, because then the mines can easily take them down and everything like that, but yeah, we'll do some raining out, guys, oh, I got so just caught up in there, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and speed this up too, really quickly, and then with a little bit more gold, how much gold do we have? We need, uh, you know, a lot of gold to upgrade these guys over here. So, 20,000 and 35,000. So, that is level 3. So, we'll go ahead and upgrade that really quickly. And then, uh, we got a cannon that we cannot upgrade because we don't have enough. And we have this structure that we might as well upgrade. So, let's go ahead and do that. 20 and 40 so first of all guys we'll go ahead and explore the seeds because i did a little bit exploring on the seeds right over here um so let's go ahead and first collect all our stuff around here there we go we got all of it so let's explore this fortunately got nothing the nothing that good but we still got a few things which is pretty awesome that is suicidal which is the problem um for now i guess we'll do no raids guys i want to go ahead and sorry no raids uh in the sea We'll go ahead and fight a, uh, definitely a fight a rival right now, guys. Want to find a really good base. Our last few raids were really bad. Oh, I did not mean to use that. Um, this is, is this a good base? I should not have clicked. Yes, uh, I'm afraid of losing. So we're actually going to fight this base. It's not a bad base to fight, guys. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, send in our tanker over here, which he should tank those structures. And then we'll send in our side pretty much side attack guys that should be able to pretty much wipe down this defense over here um and of course it is attacking our far defenses for some odd reason i'm surprised it won't attack like the guys attacking it but it's all right so we have our pretty much our two troops over here that are aiming for structures and destroying them which is really awesome uh have no clue what our this guy is doing i think he's going after that boat right over there yes he's going after the boat which is really good um is the cannon attacking? I really don't know. So they should be able to destroy that. And then I think we have no structures to worry about afterwards. So we should be able to get this base. And like just completely wreck this base in general. So let's just go ahead and pretty much attack that. Uh, what is that? The tar uh, bah, what is it? It's like the place where pirates drink. Uh, oh my god, I can't even remember what it is. Whatever. But they're attacking like... Their army camp, or whatever you could say in Clash of Clans, and we got this structure done. So, yeah, we got pretty much all their loot right here. So, we're finally attacking their last structure, which is over here. And there we go. Total destruction. Really awesome. I think it's called Tarvin. Um, what is it again? Uh, 
No, thank you. Uh, Tarvin. Tarvin. Oh, don't even know. Ah, whatever. Okay. Um. Oh, just spell. Can't say it right. Whatever. It's all right. Um. Tarvin, I think. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So we don't have anything to unfortunately upgrade with our pirates because they cost a lot of skill things to upgrade, like a ton of points, and a ton of just grug, grug or whatever. Grug, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, but it costs a ton of grug or whatever. Uh, so it's it's just really hard to upgrade. So let's go ahead and train up some troops again, guys. Um, so this may unfortunately be one of the last episodes of me actually finishing up my troops for now until I actually start uh with pretty much uh cash wraps actually using gems from cash apps, which I will be using soon, so we can pretty much speed up these upgrades. Um, to make it much much easier. To pretty much uh, get rid of the, like, to get troops faster and do some, probably some gemming to maxes and stuff like that. I did a few on the pirate hall. But other than that, it's definitely a little bit, like, it's going to be a little bit hard, of course, without um, cash wraps. So make sure to click the link in the description if you guys do want to get pretty much free gems in Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, or in Plunder Pirates. Um, so this is definitely a really hard base. Whoa, that is a big base. Uh, I don't even know what the main town hall structure is like. It looks like, I'm thinking it's that, but it definitely looks really weird. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next base. Um, no loot, unfortunately. Want a base with relatively good loot. We got a really good loot base right over here. But we will not destroy this base, unfortunately, because of what it has in store for us. Actually, we could maybe destroy it. I'm just looking at this, guys. We don't have that many structures. Oh, little hiding structures right over here that we cannot see. That's, that is something... I did not see that actually, so lucky we did look. We have to look for those structures that pretty much attack us from a range, which is definitely a big problem. Um, this looks like a not a bad base to raid actually, guys. So we're going to go in and try it out. What we're going to do is pretty much send in our little weak troops over here. And like our, in a way, our barbarians are just like normal pirates to attack from this side. And at the exact same time, guys, what we're going to do is pretty much send in our tank to come in here, who is going to take the damage. And then we'll go ahead and pretty much activate her ability right now, which should... Oh my god, that's a cool ability. Um, What does that even do? It just makes her attack faster. So, his ability. Go ahead and activate it. So, all the pirates do, I think, more damage. Uh, Oh my god, what is she doing? Okay, her ability. Oh my god. Uh, Did we just lose the big guy already? Okay, we just lost the big guy, unfortunately. So, uh, hopefully get, we get about 50%. We're already at about 25%. Let's just see how these guys go. So, oh, the cannon's attacking them. Uh, sorry, the pirate ship's attacking them. That is not good. Um, so, we are losing a few over there. We do have our troops coming in here and taking our loot, which is definitely really good. Hopefully, maybe a few guys turn in that way. That would definitely help a lot if they could. I don't think they will, though. So, the cannons, um, what's it called? Not the cannons, the motors are really easy to pretty much defend against because one they don't do a lot of damage and two they're really easy to dodge which is really awesome so we should be able to do this base guys um we're just they pretty much have no loot anymore which is really good so uh we're just waiting for his ability to activate and then we'll go ahead and activate it ability attack faster go troops go attack faster use your abilities oh we just lost some troops there unfortunately um I don't even know, oh, we're at 49%, that is not good, so we definitely have to destroy this over here, guys, to make sure that we get that 50%, I was about to end the battle, we should have definitely, uh, probably sent in something over here to pretty much get rid of that from a range, but it's still alright, guys, we should be able to get this base, um, because we only have the, what's it called, the pirate ship left, it's already lighting on fire, which is good, it's taking, like, a ton of damage, unfortunately, this is combo right over here with the really... OP cannon and stuff like that in the motor just really affected my troops there. My tank couldn't tank all that damage. And my sword fighter just couldn't do it herself, unfortunately. So that is definitely... That's def that definitely sucks. So, come on, get this. We have 45 seconds left just to get this base right over there. Well, just to get that pirate ship. And then after that, we should be able to win this game because we just need 50% to win pretty much the... Pretty much the battle and stuff like that and actually not lose any pirate... Um, pretty much points. I was already at 67, which is really good. So I want to keep that in points. So let's go ahead and activate our ability, which just, I don't even know if that won the game. Um, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish it. We got a victory, one star, awesome. Uh, pirate rate increased by three. Really good, guys. 
we are now at 70 in terms of pi rings, so hopefully we can get it to about 100. That would be really, really good. Um, but unfortunately, guys, that is going to have to wrap it up. We did a lot of stuff, guys, and we did pretty well in this game. Pretty happy for it. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, a like would really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to the Jim Craft Network for a 70% revenue share. And make sure, you guys, to click the link in the description for free gems in Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, Plunder Pirates, and pretty much whatever game. Or if you guys just want iTunes gift cards, it does that too. So, yeah, click the link in the description. All you guys, guys pretty much do is after you click that, uh, it's pretty much for cash for apps. And what you guys do is you pretty much download apps, get points, and then with those points, you can buy other apps so you don't even have to pay a set, which is really awesome. And, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, this has been Jim Boavin, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.